Some of the new laws include permits required for semi-automatic rifles, age limit to buy semi-automatic rifles, expanding New York's red flags, social media checks, and stricter rules for gun dealers. Thomas Reynolds, the president of Scope, says he believes all of these laws have one goal in mind, and that is to restrict law-abiding citizens from owning guns. The left won't just stop with this law. There'll be another one and another one and another one on top of it until basically they've neutered the Second Amendment. Starting today, you cannot buy body armor, and some gun stores have also said you cannot buy lower receivers for an AR-15. For the body armor ban, you cannot buy armor unless you are a cop or you have one of several certified professions. It's a law that Reynolds disagrees with. Look at the, the shooting that happened on the July 4th parade. Wouldn't you like to have body armor? He's been getting emails and calls all week with many looking for clarification on these new laws. Tom says they will be major kickback from gun advocate organizations. I'm already hearing lawsuits being filed or are going to be filed, and we're just getting our act together as to who's going to do what and what's the appropriate thing to do. Tom explains the new gun law that was passed less than a week ago, which mandates handgun permit applicants provide details of their social media accounts dating back three years is a violation of a person's rights. Now under these laws, for instance, uh, violating both First and Second Amendment, they want to get access to a password to get to your social media account and any other kinds of information they think is necessary. Now, I've tried tracking down and researching these new state gun laws to get an exact date of when they will go into effect and what's coming down the pipeline. Some of the laws on the New York State Gov site say September 1st, some say the end of the year, and the dates for others are not listed.